we are at this two-story tiny house at Mod Cabins. Jump behind me. Let's go check it out. Sadly, my wife Savannah could not be with me on this trip and at this tiny house, but we do have somebody with me here. It is Mike Will Travel. Hello, he, hello. You might have seen his page before. He has a page where he tours Airbnbs himself. So go check it out. He actually planned this trip for us to be together. So huge props to him. Anyway, what, what would you rate this tiny house behind us? I would say a perfect 10 out of 10. That being said, let's check this place out. Let's go. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring today's video. Do you love cereal, but avoid it because of all that sugar, like me? Well, Magic Spoon is a cereal that we have all been waiting for. Their variety pack comes with the best flavors. Fruity, peanut butter, frosted, and my favorite, cocoa. Their cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, four net carbs, and only 140 calories in each serving. They are also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and GMO-free. That's a lot of freeze. I love cereal so much that I eat as a snack pretty often like while watching a movie, so I've been enjoying Magic Spoon tremendously. I even asked for it for Christmas last year. True story. Magic Spoon is backed with 100% happiness guarantee, so if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So click my link and use code Levi Kelly to get $5 off of your order at checkout. P.S. This is a great item to have at your Airbnbs. Magic Spoon cereal. Back to the video. If you saw last week's video, we took a tour of two tiny houses by Mod Cabins here in Asheville, North Carolina. They were really cool and one of my favorite layouts for a tiny house. But today, we're going to be taking a tour of their other tiny house, which is two stories with more beds and there's just more to pack on the inside. And the outside even looks really similar, but it's just a lot bigger and this one's more fun, I would say. So today, I want to be giving you a tour of this place and I can't wait to show you guys what's inside. Side. If you decide you want to book this place yourself or all three places, you can have this whole area to you and yourself and your friends. The links are down below to book them. I highly suggest coming to check out this spot in Asheville, North Carolina. Along with the tour, whenever you arrive to your spot, you'll pull up and you have the back cabin, which feels even more luxurious. And immediately you notice that it is huge and it doesn't really look like a tiny house on the outside, but they just did a really good job at making it look and feel big when the floor plan is pretty small. And as similar to the last ones we've shown, they have the open air deck right here, basically attached to the tiny house part right here. And this just looks phenomenal among the trees everywhere. The landscaping is done really well. I love how many trees there are on your property and just surrounded by the greenery or even surrounded by a running creek, which is awesome. So you can listen to that and really enjoy your time here. But we'll walk up to your tiny house and you got a couple paths to choose from. We'll walk around the air deck and head around to the back part of your property first. You have an outdoor fire pit area here and an outdoor dining table and we'll continue along. You even have a hammock out here and your tiny house blocks this section off from everybody else. So it feels very private and secluded. And then to continue along, you have a hot tub back here with a fence built around it. And this is just the perfect addition to your tiny house. You cannot go wrong with a hot tub here. And I love all the outdoor amenities they have. They even have a couple games out here as well. The surrounding property and the outdoor amenities are incredible. Now let's head up to the open air deck and see what is all on that. I love the wood design of this deck. It feels so cozy and everything it has to offer. On the left, you have another outdoor dining table. So there are several options to choose from to sit at your Airbnb or eat. It is incredible. Then the best part over here is your fireplace. I think you have the couch right here and then your retro looking fireplace. They provide wood for you. It was so cozy sitting here. And just the aesthetic of all of this is something to really experience. So 
definitely an awesome addition. And then a little different from the other cabins, this deck continues around so we can wrap around right back here and you have an outdoor swinging day bed, which I loved. You can sit out here and this overlooks uh, the back part of your property. And this is just a fun thing to have uh, at your Airbnb. All of this deck space is awesome. There's plenty of space if you happen to bring uh, more people because this tiny house sleeps a lot. So with that being said, let's head inside and see what this tiny house has to offer. You walk inside and it is huge in here. The ceilings go way, way up and everything is pretty bright as well. Uh, you have your living space over here on the right side. You have a couch, you know, a coffee table, a chair and a TV. Pretty minimal uh, living space, I would say, but it is nice that you have these different types of seating options and even a TV right here to enjoy some Netflix. And then on the other side, this gives you a great look at the rest of your tiny house from the kitchen to the loft upstairs. It is so cool. So in this kitchen space, you actually have a island right here in the middle that can seat four people, which is really cool to have in a tiny house. And then you have a fridge right here. We'll continue along with the, the countertop. You have a built-in hot plate and you even have an oven right under that, which is unique to this tiny house compared to the others. And the black cabinets look really good. You got some floating shelves above. This is a pretty nice and spacious kitchen for uh, what this place is. And then right across from that is your ladder that goes up into your loft space. Let's climb up this ladder and check that out. This loft space is perfect for the additional guests you have or even kids. You have two beds up here and then just a huge area to do whatever you want and they even have a table with games right here. So this loft area is huge. You can almost stand up here but not quite. And of course this overlooks uh, your kitchen and living room space. We'll head back down the ladder and head into the hallway right behind it. walk down this hallway the first door on your left is your bathroom space this is a huge bathroom on the left side you have your vanity and then right behind that you have your huge tiled walk-in shower I love the subway tile that they use here and then behind this wood wall right here they have your washer and dryer in here and then on the other side of that some hangers and your towels so they use this bathroom space really well I think and it is large you don't feel tiny at all in here We'll take a step out of that and head down to your master bedroom area. You walk in here and you have your huge bed right here in the middle. You got nice stands on each side. This is just a spacious bedroom to get ready in. There's even a closet behind this sliding door right here. You can hang clothes or put your luggage here. And there's nothing tiny about this bedroom. They used it very well, I think. So with everything they did with this tiny house, I think they nailed it. And this is just a really fun spot to come and enjoy it. They even have this huge open area with your tree swing right here. So it's just another addition to your tiny house. I mean, I can't see how this space could get any better. So I highly suggest this spot. And again, thanks to Mike for being on this trip with me. Uh, check out his videos. And guys, next week I'm gonna be showing you another Airbnb tour video, so stay tuned. And thank you guys for the support you've put on this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And guys, I will see you next week.